car, I would be on autopilot as I am now. And then if I was going to have to overtake a vehicle, and there's a little red car up here, I'm sure, doing less than 70, I would either break the auto steer by just, you know, nudging it over and disengaging it. A much better way than that that I found uh, a little bit later was to disengage autopilot and cruise control. And the way to do that is to push up on the stalk and that way you would disengage autopilot and cruise control and then you'd be able to just maneuver the car however you felt fit. And there is still justifiable reason to do that from time to time. When you want to quickly just take over everything, um, that, that's a good time to do that. Started to break a little bit there, didn't like something. Uh, coppers pulled him over. Still breaking a little bit because this car is now doing that. So what I have discovered though is that if you've got your hand on the wheel, you can indicate it allows you to come off auto steer but keeps you on cruise control and then allows you to overtake these vehicles. So you're now steering. But the car is maintaining the speed for you and maintaining the traffic awareness. But if you try and do that manoeuvre when you're not holding the steering wheel, and so when the car doesn't know that you're you're in control, then it won't allow you to do it. And the difference in the, the screen is that um, it flashes. So we're back on autopilot. If I try and do this manoeuvre when not holding the steering wheel, nothing will happen and I'll have to disengage autopilot. But provided I'm, I'm in control, I've got hold of the steering wheel and the car knows that, you know, by your fighting it a little bit, then you'll see that the steering wheel icon, the blue steering wheel icon will flash, indicating that you've just come off auto steer. And we're gonna try and demo this if I can get a clear run at it with the car in front. And I should be able to do it because these guys will overtake me now. Start to slow down against this white car now. Like so. I've got the steering wheel on, I'm indicating. Auto steer has come off. Cruise control is still on. And so I'll start to accelerate up to 70. I could re engage autopilot if I wanted to now, because I've got a few cars to overtake. I'll do. So I'm either going to go up to 70 or stay the same distance to the car in front. I'm undertaking people in the fast lane, but what can I do? Now I'm going to go back into the slow lane. So I apply the indicate. It takes auto steer off. re-engage it in the slow lane. So there we are. Now, apologies if everybody else who subscribes to me has got a Tesla already knows about that. Uh, but up until today, I did not know that. And it does appear to be a, you know, a slightly less, well, it's one less function. It's not a lot in a third, first world issue, I know, but um, it's just something I, you know, just picked up today. Didn't really understand how it was working, but definitely understand now. So there we are. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little video and you've enjoyed this little trip with me from South Wales to London and back in a day. Um, if you have, then please do like the video if you have liked the video. Please do subscribe. Hit the little blue icon, bell icon, so that you'll get notified of any future videos. And um, thank you once again for watching.